excited to tune in. We're so glad that you're here. We're going to learn today about vegetables. And vegetables are so fun in color and texture and different flavors and different seasonings you can put on them to make them pop. Okay, today we're going to make a cauliflower and broccoli patty way fun and um, some things that you're going to need is like a blender or a food processor and um, maybe a little scoop or a spoon or you could use a measuring cup to scoop it up with and then cheese and eggs uh saltine crackers or panko which is um like a japanese cracker that's kind of what that looks like and I'm using frozen cauliflower and broccoli because it was cheaper, so more economical. And it's already cut up. You win, right? Okay, so I wanted to look really quick on the my plate. And you'll see in this green, pretty green section, it says vegetables right here. And you'll also notice that half our plates are fruits and vegetables. So really important that we remember that and that our serving sizes are they will range from about depending on your age you might want to go on myplate.gov to see and look up your age and see and your activity see what you're supposed to be eating but it's it's about one and a half to three servings a day but I don't think anyone would balk if you had a little more <laughs> because they're so full of vitamins and goodness and fiber. So let's get started. All right, so I have um, a food processor with me today. And so I'm just gonna take the top off. And then this is, if you've never seen one, it has a big, huge blade um, in here and then it goes down in the middle like this. And it has to be locked into place, so this and this have to match each other. Can you see that? So it could look like um, this. See that it's not matching. And then you pull it over and make sure it's matching. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put our two cups we need of cauliflower and broccoli. So there's one. And when I turn this on, it's gonna be a little loud. So. You'll have to close your ears. Plug your ears. Okay. And then there's two. And then let's add our half a cup of panko. Okay. In there. And I wanted to show you again how to do an, an egg. Sometimes you guys struggle with getting these eggs open. So I'll go ahead and put this in. One. So, take the egg between your index fingers and your thumb, get your bowl, okay, and then you're going to hit the edge till it cracks on the edge there, and then, can you see, yeah, take two thumbs, take one thumb into the crack, just like that, and then your other thumb and then just pull it apart just like that and we get stuff on our hands sometimes from the egg so um, wash your hands so that you don't cross contaminate um, other items in your kitchen all right here we go you dry them really good because bacteria loves wet hands so make sure we're nice and nice Dry, okay. All right. Then when you get your eggs all done, you're gonna need a fourth of a cup of cheese. You can use the already um, grated, or you can grate your own, um, whichever you would like or whichever you have. That's what we would like to do um, because we try and work with what we got at the house. So a half a teaspoon of salt and if you need less or if you are on a salt-free diet then 
Don't worry about the salt part. Okay. Sprinkle that all the way around. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and pulse this, but we're gonna put our lid on first. And you'll notice that in the front, there is like a little um, line on the top of there. Do you see that? Okay, so that and this need to line up. Everything has to line up on these two processors, okay? Get your lid on, and then you'll see this is going to go around and click, okay? And if it doesn't click or be lined up, it won't start. Okay, so let's woohoo! Let's it and get it all nice. You will see that this is all mixed in there. Isn't that fun? It's a beautiful color, especially with St. Patrick's Day coming up, right? Good idea to do start doing some green stuff so we don't forget. And guess what? I forgot the other egg, so I'm going to mix that really quick in there. I totally spaced that one, didn't I? And then you're going to take the blade out really careful on the top part of it, and you're going to place it on the outside of the sink. All right, when you get done with that, depending on what you're going to use. You're going to use a pancake grill like this one and you're going to probably need a spray like this or you could get a paper towel and just kind of put some oil on it or if you're going to use a pan like this then you're going to need about two tablespoons of oil like this. Okay? And I'm going to use the pancake grill. And I'm just going to kind of coat this a little bit on there. have a pancake turner, plastic so that it doesn't ruin the Teflon. Then I'm going to take my spoon or my scoop and make sure it's really just in here good, which it looks like it is. Okay, and then I'm going to put some... And this isn't on yet because I still have to smash those down. You're going to love these. They taste really good. And you could dip them like in a sauce, like some ranch, or you could put um, your favorite dressing or something like that on them. But um, my. Online, they were saying uh, they used like you could do like a ketchup or something like that too. All right, so then I'm going to take and I'm going to put a little oil on the back of my measuring cup, just like this. Okay, and then I'm just going to smash that right down, just like that to make the patties. You could also do this in your hands if you wanted. And that would work too. And then just kind of make these round-ish so that they're nice and pretty like patty should be. Totally up to you though, okay? All right, and I don't want these too thick because they won't cook all the way through if they are. All right, when I get done, then it's time to turn our grill on, okay? And I'm gonna turn it on to about a 350 degree temperature on the grill. It's a high, medium high on the skillet, then you will do a medium high, okay? Okay, while that is cooking, we will get to our lesson a little bit.
today we're gonna, like I said, we had, we're gonna talk about vegetables, um, just a little bit. But first of all, I wanted to do a little bit of a game. Are you ready? Okay. It's called a guessing game. I'm gonna say some clues, and you guess to yourself what you think it is. Okay. Here we go. I am green and crunchy. You eat me on sandwiches or in a salad. I have mild flavor and crunch, and I add crunch to your meal. What do you think it is? <laughs> oh, I bet you're just screaming and yelling and jumping because you know exactly what it is, right? Lettuce. If you guessed lettuce, you were right. All right, next one. You eat the seed part of me, which is small and round and green and comes in a pod. I am very little, but good for you. What do you think I am? What do you think? Ding, 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 ding. Peas. If you guess peas, you were right. Okay, one. Let's do one more. I am green vegetable. We're doing green today because of St. Patty's Day coming up. I taste good when I am cooked or raw. A. I look like a tree. What do you think? Broccoli. We used it in this, but it wasn't the patty. But. Yes, broccoli. You were right if you guessed that. So good job. One more green. No, let's do one more. I am dark green and leafy. Um, I am Popeye's favorite food. And I make you strong. What do you think? Okay. If you guessed spinach, you were right. Did you get 100% or at least a few right? I hope you did. How fun. All right, well, um, did you know that carrots help our eyes be healthy and boost our immune system? And that is where it fights infection, that fighter, okay? Um, broccoli, it shares cancer fighting and infection or um, immune boosting um, it reduces inflammation, which is like if you swell up sometimes when you get hurt, that's inflammation. Cauliflower, like our cauliflower here today, is a great source of antioxidants, which means, okay, it fights something that's in our bodies that we get from our environment, and that's free radicals. And so it is a super power when it comes to that, which protect our cells from being inflamed. So from swelling. It helps with your digestive system because it has fiber. And I know if you've seen any of my videos or been in any of my classes that you know about fiber. Also, it helps in delaying the return of hunger. So if you get hungry really fast, maybe cauliflower might help you. So there you go. Every day you need to have between two to three servings or one and a half to three servings a day, depending on how active you are. We, we discussed that in the very beginning, right? And then we want to start exercising. Are you guys doing any exercising? And I don't mean that you have to, you know, get in front of your TV and move around and, and everything, but that's, that's a good way too. But you could just go outside and play games and help your mom and dad around the yard. Spring is almost here, and so it would be a good time to start raking the leaves that had fallen and getting our plants ready to bloom and 
maybe even starting a garden because their peas that we talked about before, they grow in the spring and so does lettuce and spinach. So those would be really good things to start in your house right now so they'll be ready to go out. Um, I hope that you're being active, that you're on your skateboard or you're biking. And then in a couple of months, we might be swimming. And we need to do this for 60 minutes a day. So if you're a youth, it needs to be 60 minutes for five days a week. And it goes by fast. Seems like a really long time, huh? But it really isn't. So when you get to, you know, playing games and riding your bike, it goes very, very quick. Keep up with the good things that you're doing, which I know you are, and making sure that you are eating um, your vegetables and, and your fruits that are from the my plate. Most of all, keep learning trying new things. Sometimes we get in a rut and we don't want to try new things, but it's important that we do because your taste buds are going to be changing and you're going to be liking more things as you get older. So keep a trying some new things. If you don't like it today, then try it in another week or so and see if you like it um, in a, another week or you can see that our bites are starting to brown on the other side and that's what we want. So now we'll get the other side brown just like that and then we can have two or three of these as a snack or we could add these to our dinner. We could have some fish um, or some chicken or anything that you would like to go with that carrot sticks or some celery, that'd be good too. Okay, so that's how those look. I hope that you'll give this a try and see what you think. These also um, will freeze. So if we were wanting to freeze it, we would put it on a cookie sheet with like a mat or a parchment paper and then take our scoop or our measuring, our measuring cup, whichever one. And then we'll put some little mounds um, on it and let them freeze in the freezer and then put them in a baggie. And then all we have to do is let them thaw out and then cook them that easy. So they do freeze very well. They up for about a month to a month and a half. You can keep them in the freezer. All right. This is Larry Bates from my home to yours. Thank you, and I'll see you next Friday. Bye now.